So we can divide all the fluid in the body into two parts, inside cells and outside cells. And we can further divide the part outside cells into two different parts. And that is extracellular fluid inside blood vessels and extracellular fluid outside blood vessels. So it turns out that about a quarter of the extracellular fluid is inside the blood vessels, and so that would be about 3.5 liters. And the other three quarters is outside of blood vessels, and that would be 10.5 liters. So that's how we divide this extracellular fluid. But what's confusing is that this quarter that we're saying is inside blood vessels is not the only thing in the blood vessels, because remember, you also have red blood cells. So red blood cells count as intracellular fluid. And so this extracellular part we're talking about is just the plasma around the red blood cells. So we sometimes call this intravascular fluid. And then this other three quarters is outside the blood vessel, where you also have cells, of course. So it's the fluid surrounding those cells. And that we like to call interstitial fluid. And what's going to separate this interstitial and intravascular compartment? Well, it's going to be these capillary walls. So you can think of this division as the capillary walls, just like we were saying this division was cell membranes.